I wish we go to public. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. We have gutters, rain gutters on this house, but I think they're full of leaves right now, so they're running over. Completely. Quite a haul. <laughs> Thank you, neighbor. I appreciate it. Paul from Scrap and Pallet Man would say. Thank you, Jesus. Well. I'm close to the house, so I might as well go drop these off. beer can. That's okay with me. I don't care if it's beer can, drink cans, soda cans, big bull cans, GoPro stop recording. Well, I just made a stop at another neighbor's house there, and of course I didn't have my stinking camera on, but uh, I will show on camera when I go back. There's some aluminum doors and stuff there that he gave me, and uh, some copper plumbing and stuff. I will go back and get that. Today, when I go pick up my grandson, I'll get that in the car. Um, I tell you right now, I'm thinking that I, I know I've been kicking this around for months about getting up with all the neighbors and passing out cards. And when I see a neighbor out, talk to them. It don't hurt a bit to ask. And they always got some stuff laying around, and there it was, you know. So, and there's a can. Let me grab that little duel. And then I by the way I got my new pickup sticks from uh from uh Harbor Freight. The only thing I don't like about these pickup sticks from I have to take these things will fold up and they're not very tight. That's a weak point on there and what I'm gonna do I'm going to block this in and I'm going to uh, put some of that gator foam glue, I call it, and it'll wrap around that and get exceptionally hard and be a whole lot less likely to break or bend. Okay. Go. 
there's a piece of trash I'm gonna go ahead and get that and I'll put it in public's trash can some of that stuff when I see it it just stands out so much and I can't stand it to leave it there so I'll pick it pick it up uh, not that I'm gonna clean up the world like that but You know, every little, it's just kind of like my aluminum cans. Uh, I wonder if I can, I don't want to get on that bumpy grass. Let me see. Now, I'll sit here. And when the coast is clear, you know, it's amazing how And my skin is so thin anymore. Look there just from scratching and what. It's almost red. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now after this truck, I got a clear shot. Get up there right quick. My side view mirrors don't fit. I'm gonna have to improvise and pull a MacGyver on them. I can make them work. But I got I got some flashing lights coming too. Um you know what? I'm gonna go down there and get that dag going. Get that can there. It's not a can, it's actually a cup. And it stands out like a shore farm. And I see another one up there. This thing, I wish it had a wider wheel base. Cause it, when it leans, it leans like it wants to turn over. There's another can. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, I'd like to have a wire wheelbase on this thing. But my, that new scooter I'm looking at, it's got a wire wheelbase on it. I wish I thought I could raise enough money in six months to get that thing. I mean, man, what a Christmas present that would be. Where this thing feels like it's leaning, but I guess it. You know, I'm gonna make it a point. Every time I'm going down the road in the neighborhood and there's somebody outside. I'm gonna whip this sucker up in their drive and I'm gonna talk to them. Just like I did that guy just a minute ago. And uh, 
I wound up with an aluminum door, uh, some brass, uh, some aluminum blinds, window blinds. And there was something else laying there. Some kind of little bit of scrap metal, but I'll take that scrap metal too. Because uh, I'm saving that for this, this friend of mine that he's... He's into scrap metal. And steel and all that stuff where I'm not. Yeah, I, this thing leaned, it scared me because I turned it over one time. That's why I'm so skittish of it when it's leaning. And of course, I didn't have that on camera. Oh, look at all the cattle rats in there eating them bugs. There must be 30 of them in there. Look at them. Eating them bugs. been a lot of rain fell last night because it's your standing whip in here to Miss Caroline's place right quick well I ain't gonna check her house because I I'll wait two or three more days for what I do. Is this day of Thursday? I guess it is. Look, the can in this little island here. You know what? Since Miss Caroline likes to keep this cleaned up, I'll take that and I'll put it in the trash. There's another piece. You know, folks, is it just me? But you know, people grow plants. I mean, that looks like a plant of some kind. That looks like a plant. That's a plant. Uh, that's plants. This is weed. It's an invasive something or other, but actually, I see there's beauty in that. Oh, uh, I wouldn't want a bunch of them growing around my house or anything. I see Mexican tulips over there. There's all kind of plants in here, but there's weeds starting in here too. Miss Caroline keeps them cleaned out pretty much. But. I don't see anything sitting on top over there, so you know what? I'm gonna go over and check right quick, just in case I can't get a good eye on that.
Can I get this aluminum can out of here? Sir. Can I get this aluminum can out of here? Huh? Oh, you don't put away the trash on the ground. Yeah. I don't care. Oh, you don't have to make a mess. Okay. We gotta clean it back up. Sir? We gotta clean it back up and make a mess, you know. Get it dust. Oh, out. no, I just want that can laying in. I, I go down through here about every day picking up cans. and. Yeah. yeah, there's something here. As long as you don't make a mess, I don't care. Yeah, I sure want them, man. Makes my day. That's all I got to do. Well, it ain't all I got to do, but it's... They're actually getting to the cans that I ain't been able to get to. I see some little blue bottles. <laughs> I'm gonna get them blue bottles. I don't know why I keep getting them things. Well, okay. Get that. Um, I suppose I need to get my butt up off of this thing.
How you doing, ma'am? Right. You have a good day. How you doing, ma'am? Good coffee. They still ain't got them on sale. Ain't got my brand in there anyway. Or my flavor. Well. Morning, ma'am. Morning. How you doing, ma'am? All right, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing, but I don't need to be looking at that stuff. I should. That's what I want. I can't, I can't resist them fritters. I'm sorry? I said I can't resist them apple fritters. I know. I but, take it home and I share it with my puppy. He shouldn't have it, but yeah. he loves them. All yeah. I have to do is what say... What kind of dog is he? English Mastiff. Uh, oh, that's a big dog. Yeah, 165 pounds. Ah. <laughs> I couldn't stand that because mine sleeps with me and she only weighs like five pounds. So. <laughs> that's, that's good. No, he's a big guy. But he thinks he's about 20 pounds. Uh, aren't, they're the ones that get really, they're protective. Oh yeah, he is. He's real protective until I open the door for somebody and then he runs and hides. Yeah. Little figure. My sister-in-law's got a couple of them. Oh, you have a good day, dear. Too, well, I burped again. I got a subscriber that says that's disgusting. burp a lot. <clears throat> Boy.
How you doing, ma'am? Good, you? Okay, you have a good day. Just chugging right along, huh? Ma'am? You're just chugging right along. Huh? Yeah, just, uh, it must be, I don't know, is it an old man thing or something? I ain't got nothing else to do but ride around and good. take my time. Oh, I got okay. what I need to come for, and now I'm just riding around. <laughs> Getting your exercise, huh? Well, I wish I was getting some exercise. Yeah. If I'd have got exercise when I was supposed to, I wouldn't be needing this darn thing. Yeah. I don't exercise a lot either. Yeah. Well, I always, we always put that stuff off till it gets to the point where it's too late to do anything about it. Really. Well, you have a good day, dear. Hey, Tony. You not working today, buddy? No, no sir. I'll be here tomorrow. Huh? I'll be here tomorrow and Saturday. Oh, it is Thursday, ain't it? It is. Yeah, I lose track of the days. I lose track of the days. My, my dad does that. Real easy. I, I, school started yet. School started Monday, so I'm I'm having to transport my oh. baby back. What the look? What the look of the deli? You're right. Yes. <laughs> Hey baby, what you doing? You got a nice smile. How old is he? He's three. Is it a he or she? He. Okay. You never know anymore till they get older. Yeah. Yeah. You're three years old. There you go. You're a sweetie. You have a good day, ma'am. What's his name? Noah. Noah? Yeah. See you, Noah. Say bye-bye. There you go. <laughs> you have a good day, baby. That was Noah. And I wonder... why it is that... Some people say, they see a child like that and they say it's mongoloid. Is that a slang or, or a, is that a slang for somebody that has Down syndrome? And you know something else I've noticed about Down syndrome? As a matter of fact, there's a, there's a guy in here that has Down syndrome that works here. But I have noticed that people with Down syndrome are they seem they seem very happy, they seem very friendly, and just loving. Why can't all of us folks that's normal uh, have that trait?
How you doing, sir? Morning, how are you? Doing, sir? And you? Doing okay. You have a good day. You know, they're setting up for some kind of free samples over there from Boar's Head. I wish they'd get it set up because usually when it's Boar's Head, it's pretty good tree. I'm gonna sit here a minute. I wish these dog treats weren't so expensive. How you doing, ma'am? How you doing?
you would think as much as I'm in here and as much time as I spend in here, I would know what all the cotton picking dried beans is on. And these signs, they don't have them. Mark, don't, yeah, there they are. I suppose. Hi, ma'am. You have a good day. All right, the driver. I suppose they got them signs mixed up like that so that it kind of keeps you looking. Ham beans. What is ham beans? That's Great Northerns. I don't like Great Northerns. I, you know, I'm almost tempted to try a 15 bean soup. Nah. I like navies. I like baby llamas too. Hmm. You know what? I've got a couple of bags of navies. I wonder why Navy's is cheaper. All right, let's see what we got here. What we have here is a pound of Navy's and a pound of Baby Limers. The Baby Limers is $1.49, the Navy's is $1.29. 20 cents more bag. I like it. I need to switch it up sometimes, so I'm going to get, I've got some navies. I used to love pintos. I wonder. I wonder why you can't buy the big bags of navies. I like black eyes too. That's two pounds. Two thirty nine. Hmm. I don't think I like I think I tried like what the heck is pearl barley? What do you make out of that? Do any of my subscribers know about barley? What do you make on the barley? Is that bad for you? Is it good for you? Price two and a half out of water and a round cup of oil on medium. Add one cup pearl barley, then reduce heat, low and simmer. They're okay until grains are tender, but still chewy. Add cooked pearl barley to vegetable or bean soup. Makes about three cups. I wonder if that's something. It's all around. Hmm. Pearl barley. That looks like something I'd like. Chickpeas. Split green peas. Pearl barley. I don't know what will happen if I put some of that in with my beans. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna try something different.
You know what? Oven to table stoneware. So I, mean, I guess that means you can put it in the oven. Microwave oven and dishwasher safe. Hmm. Five dollars and forty nine cents. How you doing, ma'am? How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? All right. How are you doing, ma'am? Sample, sir. How y'all doing? Great. Is that Hawaiian rolls and stuff on? Yes, sir. I'll try one. Yes, sir, please do. Thank Strava you, sir. Aloha, sunshine turkey. Have some kind of mustard on that. How y'all doing? Good, how are you today? Good. <laughs> 